San Lucas, Mexico, and Cabo Premier Tours with the Rockstar Crew. I'm Louis. Yes, Peter, I'm Adrian. Pedro. Cabo Premier Tours, Rockstar Crew, whatever you need. And yeah. we're gonna go out in the boat right now and check out the raddest that Cabo San Lucas has to offer. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go see the art. All right, guys, have a great one. Look us up. Rock, Cabo Premier Tours, Rockstar. Come to Cabo. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go to <laughs> Here we are on the boat, rice and beans. The famous arch is only accessible by boat. And then there's a lot of other things. Is that poncho? A lot of other things to see and beaches to go to once you're over there. Poncho is a local famous bull sea lion, huge, probably 800 pounds or more, that is famous for jumping on boats, trying to panhandle fish off people coming in from fishing trips. One time he snuck up next to the boat and famously stole this prized Dorado as the fisherman displayed it. So I'm definitely keeping an eye out if the local legend Pacho is around. On the way to the arch you'll find Pelican Beach, really nice for swimming and snorkeling. There's also Lovers and Divorce Beach. After you see everything, Rockstar Tours is really cool. They'll drop you off at whatever beach you want for however many hours. And after you're done, take you back to the marina. So we're definitely gonna see a few of the beaches. This rock is called Neptune's Finger. They say if you flip it upside down, it looks like a map of Southern Baja. Now we're on the east side of the Baja Peninsula, which is the Sea of Cortez. On the west side is the Pacific Ocean. Through this rock, you can see the Pacific Ocean from this side, so it's the window to the Pacific. Big rock on the left, they call. That's funny, it does look like him. And then of course, Cabo San Lucas's most iconic landmark, the arch. And if you haven't heard them barking already, guess who has the best view of the house? A sea lion colony. Where's Pancho? <laughs> Not sure if Poncho's there, but that's definitely his family. Passing this rock, we're officially getting out of the Sea of Cortez and into the Pacific Ocean.
Looks like this guy just wants some peace and quiet without his whole family barking day and night. Now that we're on the other side of the arch in the Pacific, you can see Divorce Beach. We're actually gonna go to that beach, but when, it, when we go back to the other side where we came from, where Lover's Beach is, we're gonna get to it from there. So I'll show you in a little bit. So yeah, pretty much at this point, the boat's gone as far as it's gonna go. It's gonna take us back the other way. And that's where it's a great time to have them drop you off at the beach for an hour or two or whatever. But we're gonna go to Lover's Beach, like I said. You could walk to Divorce Beach for an hour or two, and then go over to Pelican Beach and snorkel and uh, go swimming for an hour or two as well. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Check out this glass bottom boat. Boat just dropped us off at Playa del Amor for two hours. This is Lover's Beach. The waters are real calm over here. Good for swimming and good for snorkeling. And behind us, and go walk over to the other beach. We'll go check that one out right now. Yeah, it's a good five minute walk, but all this crazy looking rocks and sand kind of reminds me of, you know. Just a reminder, when you come on this trip, make sure you bring beach towels and everything else you think you might need. Here we are checking out Divorce Beach. See the waters can get really rough. Today it's not, the waves aren't that big, it's not that rough. are strong. I can see why they don't recommend swimming here. Especially when the waves are even bigger. Really cool beach to come check out. There's way less people over here too than Lover's Beach. But we're gonna walk back over to Lover's Beach and grab the taxi over to Pelican Beach. That's where the snorkeling is supposed to be really good and the swimming as well. So let's go check that out. Here we are at Pelican Beach. Perfect. Here's a pro tip. Before you get on the boat, definitely go to the store and grab yourself a bunch of drinks and snacks. Also, bring your beach towel. If you want to go snorkeling, bring your own or arrange it with the boat with the tour company before you come to the beach because if you show up here empty-handed they'll charge you $25 for the mask alone and even more if you want life jacket and fins. Ready?
That's really awesome. I didn't know you could jump the rocks too. Yeah, this place is cool. I came back to check and see if our boat came. Another tip, remember the name of your boat so when it comes to get you, you'll know which one you get on. But yeah, it's not here yet. Really cool idea to ask the boat to leave you here for a good like two or three hours. This beach is definitely worth it. So that'll do it. They picked us up and back to the marina we go. Asking around, I learned some very sad news. The original poncho died several years ago. There's even a statue of him in town. But others in this herd, other alpha males, you probably learned or taught the same tricks and they jump up on the boats as well and act just like the original poncho. So the legend lives on.